Hi, I'm Dweezil Zappa, and in this lesson I'm going to show you a couple of things that will help you to visualize the guitar neck and see the guitar as three sets of two strings. And I'll show you why this is helpful. So, for example, we are all probably pretty familiar with A minor pentatonic. Okay, so in this shape that we're all familiar with, there are three specific shapes that are three of the five shapes that create the pentatonic, hence five penta, you get it. You see what I'm going for. All right, so here's the deal. Check this out. If I play this, and then I think about it as three sets of two strings, like that's one set, that's another set, that's another set. Now, if I play those same three shapes on one set of strings, it sounds like this. Now, some of you are saying, well, wait a minute, uh, that doesn't sound the same, but listen, watch this. Now, this right here is the same as this. See, we just divided it by the octave. So, same notes, it just sounds different because of the octave. Now, when we get to this part, that's obviously not going to sound like this unless you're really familiar with the, the sound of the octave. So check it out. So you, you heard that, right? I went from here. This is the bottom of that box, but played up here. So if you wanted to keep going up the neck so that you are only playing in this direction on the guitar, you only have two more shapes. Right there, we are at the octave of where we started. So here's five shapes. One, two, three, four, five. And then it starts again and keeps going. But the, the concept of three sets of two strings gives you the ability to recognize these patterns on each set of strings and move in this direction. So that's really helpful, especially if you want to start changing the notes in the scale. So here's a real simple thing uh, to, to finish off this lesson. If you wanted to make the pentatonic scale sound a little bit more interesting over any sort of blues kind of situation, or really any situation, you can say, all right, here, the root, the minor third, and then we're going to add major third instead of going right here on one string. And then instead of being from the fourth, we're going to sharp that or flat the five, however you want to look at it. So here's the two shapes, right? We started on A, so that means if we know where our octave is, we start on A, we can make the exact same shape again. And we can do it again. So that's a cool way to make the pentatonic scale there you go you can just make it sound a little bit different but look at it as three sets of two strings and i think you'll see the neck differently and have a lot more fun playing the guitar